let's talk about supplements. There's two extreme opinionated views on supplements. One is don't ever take supplements, get all your nutrients through food. And the other one is that there's a place for supplements and uh, supplements that are studied and reviewed can have a huge impact on our health. Now, I used to be just 100% pound the supplements, pound the supplements, pound the supplements. Now, and again, I always tell you what I do and what's worked for me in my 50 years of doing this because I started when I was a little kid taking supplements and trying something that I thought would make me stronger or make me hit the baseball farther in little league, you know, so, um, and this goes all the way back to when I was in school and my nutrition classes and so on, people are, you know, they're talking about, okay, only get your, um, nutrients through food. Now, I think it's a lot harder to do that now because I, I honestly think, you know, I'm not, you know, a don't call me a tree hugger or go ahead. I, you guys can call me names, but the environment has been compromised. The soils have been compromised, the air, the water. When I was a kid, I used to drink out of the hose. I would never do that now. Um, so but let's talk about my philosophy on what I would supplement and what I wouldn't because it's changed. What I do is I try to keep, and I do take a lot of supplements, but the supplements that I take, I try to get supplements from that come from real food. So in other words, they're not synthetic. I do take some synthetic supplements like um, B3, niacin. That is a, a, is a, a B vitamin that is, it's synthesis. It's, it's, it's a synthetic vitamin, okay? So I didn't get it from real food. Now, I take multiple vitamins and minerals that do come from real food. And there's a couple of places that you can get that. And I'll put a link, I'm not affiliated, but I'll put a link to uh, two places where I get whole food supplements. So my vitamin C comes from real food. Now I'll take different things that, that are herbs and so on, like garlic and, and things like that. Things that are naturally occurring in the body or things that are naturally occurring in nature. Those are the type of supplements that I try to stick with. I t let me give you an example. You all know that I'm on TRT. There's a link there if you want to find out more. If you have questions about what I do, leave them in the um, comment section. I'll get back to you and I'll explain it in more detail on what I do and where I get testosterone and all that. But why testosterone for me? Testosterone is something that occurs in your body naturally. Now, yes, I'm taking it exogenously, but it's something that your body produces. That's why I do it. I don't take anything else. I don't take uh, aromatase inhibitors. I don't take, you know, these things are supposed to block estrogen. I don't do that. I let my body work naturally. So um, the supplements that I take, I do use creatine, but it's something in food. I do use um, protein powder, but it's something that comes from food. And I get it from, um, I do like some plant-based proteins as long as their amino acid profile is good and it's got the right ratio of amino acids. I don't usually use plant-based proteins unless I'm making pancakes. I like it because I have one that has a vanilla flavor and I like that and I use it for my pancakes. But I usually use a beef isolate for my protein shakes. But it's something that's either natural in nature or in the body. So that's what I try to do. That's where I try to say yes or no to certain supplements. I didn't used to be like that. I would just, if it was a supplement, I would take it. I, you guys also know I'm a big advocate of amino acids. I supplement with amino acids. But amino acids are in food. 
So is it all perfect? No. But is the environment perfect? Probably not. And the foods that we're eating are probably not perfect and not as nutrient dense as they were 50 or 60 years ago. Um, so that's how I determine whether I'm in a supplement or not. And it works for me. I'm healthy. And when I switched over from getting away from a lot of these synthetic vitamins and minerals, I think that's one of the things that corrected my liver enzymes. My liver enzymes were really high. And I think I was taking too many synthetic vitamins and minerals mostly. So when I stopped that and switched over to whole food vitamins and minerals, it's still vitamin C or, or whatever you're taking, but it comes from whole foods. My liver enzymes got cut in half because they were high. Now, of course, I've done other, um, other things to get that down, like alpha lipoic acid and glutathione and some other things. I've done a video on how I got my liver enzymes down, which worked for me. Is it going to work for everyone? I don't know. But this is where I always recommend you guys got to kind of play with this and get this dialed in for you. What supplements are working best for you? Does creatine have a positive impact on you? It does on me. But I've heard some people make comments on a lot of my channels saying that it hasn't been positive for them. It's been negative. So even creatine, even though creatine is found in like meat, red meat. So you got to kind of, again, think for yourself and determine what you're going to try. Maybe don't try everything at once so that you can see what something's doing or not doing. And it takes time to figure these things out, to figure your own body out and whether you should take supplements or not. I am not on this side where they say, don't ever take supplements, get everything through food. That's really hard to do. I mean, yeah, I think you can do it, but you got to eat pretty perfectly. So that's very difficult. I'm a believer in supplementation, but you got to get the right ones for you. And for me, I try as much as possible to stay away from synthetic vitamins. Now that also goes for medications. I try to avoid medications at all costs. And it's rare you know, don't tell my dentist, but, you know, they give me an antibiotic uh, because I had a tooth pulled or whatever. I don't take them. Why would I take that? Well, it's preventative. Well, I don't do it. My body's strong. I, I keep it healthy and I don't use them. Now, if I had to, I would. Sometimes, you know, I've hurt my back before and I'll use... Um, I'll take, you know, ibuprofen or something like that. Is that good for me? Probably not. I try to avoid it, but I have, if I have to use it, I will use it. That's my philosophy. You guys figure this stuff out for yourself. And if you guys like this stuff, like, and subscribe, pass this on, forward this to whoever you think it can benefit. And I will talk to you later.